hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel it's your boy ybk here back with another video and today i'll be showing you guys how to use your playstation 4 controller to play games on your pc so without further ado let's get into it All right, guys, so the first thing we'll be doing here is going to Google Chrome. You can use whichever browser you choose. Then we're going to paste the link right here. This link will be in the description. You can just click it from there and then you'll get this pop up right here to download. But if you don't have IDM, it will just start to download at the bottom left hand corner. All right. So once it's finished downloading, you can just close the browser then you select open all right and after this is opened you just go ahead and select extract or extract to and then select ok all right so next you're going to close this and go to your file manager Then we're going to go to the downloads folder and then select compressed or you can just select compressed from there. This is the folder right here guys. The DS4 Windows folder so you're going to open it. And this is this program right here that you're going to run. So you just double click on it. Alright and select program folder. All right, so you're going to see the profile um, pop up right there. Then you minimize this and wait on the program to load up. All right, so now that the program has loaded up right here, I'm just going to go through um, a few of the tabs right here. Just going to click on them and check what's there. All right, so controls, profiles, auto profiles, settings, and logs. Okay, so it's pretty basic. All right, so you should see a pop-up, but if you don't see it, just check below right here. All right, so here it is. So this is where you click on install the DS4 driver. So you just click it, wait on it to download, and it's going to install automatically also. All right, install complete. So if you're on Windows 7 or below, you need to install the 360 driver, but it comes pre-installed in Windows 10. So next you click finish and plug your controller in. All right, so now your controller should have a light on it. So you select on edit and the controller's light should change to blue, like in the picture here. And you can select which color you want it in. Otherwise, right beside it. So now you minimize this, all right? As you can see, my controller's color is blue. And I'm gonna go ahead here and open Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 4 Burst 4, all right? I'm just showing you guys that the controller is actually working on it.
for the wireless method you're gonna go ahead and select start then you're gonna go to the settings icon right here and you're gonna select it all right it's gonna open the settings up right here then you're gonna go on devices and select it and you'll be right here the Bluetooth section you just select add Bluetooth or other device select on Bluetooth and then it will start to search for Bluetooth now you're gonna press on your controller the share button and the PS button you're gonna press and hold both of them at the same time and hold for about three seconds until you see the blinking light all right so there's a light right here and there it is on the computer so now you're gonna click on it on the computer it's now connected and the color is going to change all right so as you can see it says ds4 controller one is using profile default so you can just close this and now I'm gonna open Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 4 again just to show you guys that it is actually working all right and as you can see it says setting up device we're setting up wireless controller and it says that the device is ready all right so let me just set this screen here okay and put it over all right there you go As you can see guys the controller is indeed working on the computer so if you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more videos like this please remember to like subscribe and share and if you want to see more of my content you can select links at the end of this video thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time